Hurry, Jason, Harris said. My keepers approach and you begin to wake. I will not be strong enough to appear to you again, even in dreams. Wait, he said. Boreas told us you made a dangerous gamble. What did he mean? Hera's eyes looked wild, and Jason wondered if she really had done something crazy. An exchange, she said. The only way to bring peace. The enemy counts on our diversions, our divisions, and if we are divided, we will be destroyed. You are my peace offering, Jason. Jason, a bridge to overcome a millennia of hatred. What? I don't... I cannot tell you more, Hera said. You have only lived this long because I have taken your memory. Find this place. Return to your starting point. Your sister will help. Dahlia? The scene began to dissolve. Goodbye, Jason. Beware Chicago. Your most dangerous mortal enemy awaits there. If you are to die, it will be by her hand. Who? He asked. But Hera's image faded, and Jason awoke. His eyes snapped open. Cyclops! Whoa, sleepyhead! Piper sat behind him on the bronze dragon, holding his waist to keep him balanced. Leo sat in front, driving. They flew peacefully through the winter sky as if nothing had happened. D Detroit! Jason stammered. Didn't we crash land? I, I thought... It's okay, Leo said. We got away, but you got a nasty concussion. How are you feeling? Jason's head throbbed. He remembered the factory, then walking down the catwalk, then a creature looming over him, a face with one eye, a massive fist, and everything went black. How did you... the Cyclops? Leo ripped them apart, Piper said. He was amazing! He can summon fire! It was nothing, Leo said quickly. Piper laughed. <laughs> Shut up, Valdez! I'm gonna tell him. Get over it! And she did. How Leo single-handedly defeated the Cyclops' family. How they freed Jason, then noticed the Cyclops was starting to reform. How Leo had replaced the dragon's wiring and gotten them back into the air just as they started to hear the Cyclops roaring for vengeance inside the factory. Jason was impressed. Take out three Cyclops with nothing but a toolkit? Not bad. It didn't exactly scare him to hear how close he'd come to death, but it didn't make him feel horrible. He stepped right into an ambush and spent the whole fight knocked out while his friends fended for themselves. What kind of leader was he? When Piper told him about the other kid the Cyclops claimed to have eaten, the one in the purple shirt who spoke Latin, Jason felt like his head was going to explode. A son of Mercury. Jason felt he should know the kid. But the name was missing from his mind. I'm not alone then, he said. There are others like me. Jason, Piper said, you were never alone. You've got us. I, I know, but something Hera said... I was having a dream. He told them about what he'd seen, about what the goddess had said inside her cage. An exchange? Piper said. What does that mean? Jason shook his head. But Hera's gamble is me. Just by sending me to Camp Half-Blood, I have the feeling she broke some kind of rule, something that could blow up in a big way. Or save us, Piper said hopefully. That bit about the sleeping enemy? That sounds like the lady Leo told us about. Leo cleared his throat. About that, she kind of appeared to me back in Detroit, in a pool of porta potty sludge. Jason wasn't sure you heard that right. Did you say porta potty? 